Hi everyone, in this quick video I just wanted to show you how you can enable the server function or DLNA server function on a Panasonic TV running my home screen operating system. And briefly, the DLNA server function will allow us to stream content that's connected to this particular TV to other devices that can be used as a DLNA client. So how do we actually enable this function? It's pretty straightforward. All we need to do is to go to the menu by pressing the menu key and then confirming main menu with the OK button. Next, navigate to network within the menu and then select network link settings. Here, the first option will allow us to activate the server function. As we can see here, the home network server is currently turned off. So with the OK button and then with the up um, key, we can actually select on. And then we have two additional settings that we need to bear in mind. The first one is the registration type, which really controls how are other devices on the same network connecting with this particular device, in our case, the TV. So if we leave this to auto, which is the recommended setting, all of the devices uh, will be connected automatically. So if we take a very brief look here at the remote device list, which shows us the list of all of the devices available on the network, we can see there is a MAC address here of a different device and it's already permitted. But if we go back and we switch the registration type to manual, and then we go back into the remote device list, that is not going to be permitted by default. So if you're on a network with a lot of different devices, let's say you're sharing uh, some you're renting with some friends and you don't want their devices to see the content on your home network server from Panasonic TV you can leave this on manual and then manually enable which device has access by obviously knowing what the MAC address of that device is right so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one